So legendary Chicago rapper G Herbal was busted today for gun possession in Chicago. You don't believe me? Boom. Now G Herbo has a rising fame. We got to see this man come from the mud to the top of his game. Like we're gonna explain everything that happened. I need you guys to hold up the pressure and just do one thing for me. Smash that like button, hit that notification bell. Thank you for rocking out with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. I am DJ Bless One. Now hit that notification bell, let's go. So Herbo today, the one they call Herbo, basically, he has a new heaping of legal troubles after Chicago cops arrested him Sunday evening in connections with a gun bust that TMZ reported earlier today. Let's read the article together. So basically, law enforcement sources tell us that Herbo was busted around 5.45 p.m. near North Washbash Avenue in East Ontario Street, where cops say they found a gun. Herbo's shy town fans will recognize those streets as he frequently mentions them in his songs. Now, what you guys don't know is Herbo already was going through situations like that over and over again. Y'all forgot about the 2020 20 gun case we'll continue on this new update but let's fast forward your mind and get a quick summary to the background of why he's facing more serious trouble than a regular gun possession well in case you guys forgot he had a gun fraud case in 2020 let's go to that report right quick if y'all don't mind well known chicago rap breaking news on well-known chicago rapper g herbo he and five other men charged with using stolen credit cards to charter private jets rent exotic cars and a villa in jamaica and buy designer puppies the six men were charged in federal court in massachusetts this week g herbo made forbes annual 30 under 30 list which highlights young leaders and entrepreneurs according to the site well-known chicago rapper Breaking news on now well he had that fraud case in 2020 now the fraud case basically he surrendered himself to authorities December 3rd of 2020 federal law enforcement basically already had confirmed it it was around 6 58 p.m. a rep for G Herbal told the inquirer what was going on with that so basically they were this is allegedly now because Herbo is proclaiming his innocence. They were allegedly putting names of other people and certain charges and they were running it up for a four year period. According to a new federal complaint in 2020, Herbo, along with his music, basically promoter and other members of his crew allegedly conspired to defraud numerous businesses with stolen credit cards over the course of a four-year period in documents obtained by tmz the feds claim herbal basically herbal was the one who was getting a private villas and flying back to jamaica and he was even buying designer puppies luxury pet stores i don't know how true it is but this is what the feds were saying now what happened with this new situation let's go deeper now according to cops remember it's about what you guys believe according to cops with this one Herbal was arrested and booked for misdemeanor unlawful use of a weapon in a public space. We were basically told Herbal has since bonded out and he's doing fine now, but he has to appear in court at a later date, which they didn't even give yet. But this is another setback to his rap career. You already know what they're going to go over in court. They're going to go over through the things he had to go through through that 2020 law, uh, basically case. Now, let's go deeper on that 2020, which you don't know is they had upgraded his charges after the december one and these are some of the things they upgraded it to during the 2020 situation new tonight you're watching 22 news at 11. new tonight a chicago rapper who was indicted back in september for conspiracy to commit wire fraud and aggravated identity theft is facing new charges this according to the u.s attorney's office now herbert wright the third also known as g herbo was charged on tuesday in springfield federal court with one count of making a false statement to federal authorities the rapper, along with five members of his music group, have been accused of using other people's information to charge more than $1 million to fund a lavish lifestyle over a four-year period. 
now you, that's their word they're saying it was over a four-year period we don't know how true that is everything was speculations now the case is not over yet i've seen a lot of bloggers talking about it's done with that was way back over two and a half years ago i'm like bro with the feds you could be relaxing chilling like you're will smith in bel-air but then you hear that it's that big knock and the knock ain't them coming to give you a reward the knock is coming to take all type of mug shots all type of pictures to say you have the right to remain silent and herbo been certified according to a lot of people in the chicago area he was solid in that case he didn't give anything up he didn't give names he proclaimed his innocent like a lot of people should do proclaim your innocence and say let me have my lawyer now people were doing rumors back in 2020 i don't know if you remember speculating Relations was like Herbo was gonna educational purpose tattletale out here. He was gonna give up names, and that has yet to happen. And I hope that nobody continues to put these false information on his name because we know in 2023 there are bloggers who are making a living and doing look lucrative basically millions of dollars and trying to report which rappers are telling or not we don't worry about that over here we break the hip-hop news who's telling and who's not telling got nothing to do with our lives over here but herbal has been a solid individual since he came out in the limelight in front of everybody i'm hoping whatever he's going through this is just something minor and he can come and overcome it y'all let me know in the comment sections do you think it's done for herbo or do you think these are some things that are normal and he can beat it even with the 2020 fraud case federal fraud case that is hovering over his head look man catch you next time i'm dj bless one please hit that like button and notification bell and subscribe like and share this and also comment peace one love to y'all love your family love your kids stay blessed